Welcome to interview number one with Mazud Farhad, architect and freehand sketcher. Host, Olga Sarakina, guest, Mazud Farhad. Series of hand rendering interviews. First question, Olga Sarakina, how did you come to sketching and what was your initial step in sketching? Mazud Farhad, my field of study and Definitely, it is the most adventurous profession amongst all skills. Architecture can be categorized into different separated parts. One part is the theory of architecture, and at the beginning it focuses on the history of classical art and architecture in the world, and continues to contemporary theories. The other parts are more practical, and architect picks up a pen to design a building. The procedure of design is a complicated process and must be carried out correctly. To develop the idea, it's necessary for architect to draw shapes. Those simple sketches develop towards final design. It's highly important for each architect to know how to sketch. I figured out the importance of the issue when I was green at the university. I realized that good sketchers can be good architectural designers. Since then, I made my mind to become a good sketcher. Although I was good at drawing by I seriously tried to improve my abilities. Now, architectural sketching is my main profession. Could you please describe your process of creating sketches and how long does it take? For example, this one. Mazut Farhad. A good sketcher should be equipped with simple but important drawing tools. A proper surface to work on and a good pen to work with and also a nice atmosphere to work in. Primitively, I evaluate the size of the sketch according to the size of the page. Then I lines of the sketch in a fast way. Details are not included at this stage. Afterward, I add like furniture details. The direction of light shows how to cope with shadows. A good sketch. Then I put the color on the sketch on aesthetic regulations using colorful markers and brushes. It takes half an hour to complete one work. Third question, Olga Sarokina. You have very beautiful technique for your architecture sketches. It looks like combination of markers for a building and watercolor for the sky and or maybe brush. Masud Farhad. Each sketcher is a good at one or two drawing and painting method. I prefer to use the combination of techniques for rendering. The main part is painted with different colors of markers and the rest is called Every method has its advantages and disadvantages. For encycled areas, it is easier and faster for me to use markers. Mostly for trees, deal with ink much easier. It gives me the ability to work with fading colors in perspective. I put the color on the surface. There are possibilities to easily mix colors to achieve new ones. Undoubtedly of the ink and strength of a color can be controlled by mixing it with water. I can quickly obtain variety from each tint by adding pure water. It is controllable and easy to manipulate. For a beginner, it is a sort of trial and error and with it becomes an interesting hobby. It makes me feel like a boss and my tools are loyal the achievement always sounds satisfying. Question number four, Olga Sarokina. How do you make perspective for your interior sketches, computer programs, or do you make it by yourself? Mazud Farhad. I personally believe in architectural computer software applications in this technologically improving century. It is undeniable to take the advantages 
aspects of computer science is neat and accurate. I have to clarify that I've never worked with software to draw. I do call my works as all of them have been done by hand. Interior and exterior perspectives are created by drawing correct composition of lines and putting it to math. The only way I'm enjoying the computer is using software to balance the strength of lines and to slightly modify the contrast among colors. The original colors of the works are in logical order, but when when it comes to it looks a little darker and in some software edits seems unavoidable. Question number five. What are you currently working on? Mazud Farhad. It is commonplace to draw things by using fountain pens and other kinds of pencils. I try to pin your new drawing tools and find out unusual substances to paint with. For instance, I potted handful of by using coffee and beet syrup. I have checked substantial number of colorful foodstuff and chemical liquid substances to use them in sketching just as watercolor and ink. In addition, I'm doing my best to publish my book, which is about sketching techniques in at least three languages. The result is amazing. Question, Olga Sarokina. Please tell us about your sources of inspiration. What helps you to be productive in sketching? I suppose, according to your Instagram. Masoud Farhad. To be honest, I'm crazy about going through intercoming mountains, clouds, trees, and rivers. It makes me feel like I'm eager to create works. Also, I like rural wood standing in the middle of a rainforest. I like to sip a cup of coffee sitting on a bank of a river. It makes me feel alive and my hand must create artworks. I figure out that some sorts of natural colors could paint my painted handful numbers of my perspectives with a cup of coffee. Anonymous natural Nations. It inspires me to wake up and shine. Natural compositions are the source of all arts, no matter it is a piece of music or visual arts. Question number seven, Olga Sarokina. How do you sketching, particularly in interior design? Masud Farhad. The universe is always in motion and it never stops even for a second. It is necessary to keep up with it. As the world and attitudes are changing, architecture changes too. Architect has to design new patterns and designs and actualize it on a piece of paper via fast freehand sketches. Sketch matters and will never lose its workability. Now many modern applications and computer utilities come to the market. Freehand sketches illustrate new designs. Eight, Olga Sarokina. What advices would you give for beginners in sketching? Mazud Farhad. The beginners to study relevant books and see variety of good sketches. They have to learn step by step. It is impossible for a perfect artist overnight. At the beginning, they should get to know sketching tools and then learn how to use them effectively. The concepts of illustration rules appropriately. Then practice to draw interior and exterior perspectives. They should get familiar with shadowing process, which seems a little perplexing. Shadows make the third dimension easier to understand. At the end, it is necessary to learn how to use colors and relevant tools properly to make a good composition of lines and colors. I ask to beginners to believe their potentials. 
It is necessary to study and revise sketch books or take part in sketch courses, but avoid making replicas from other works and try to create personalized one. Beat green students to compile their works to compare primitive ones with recently done works, and by this way, the quality of learning process can. The collection can be kept as a personal worthy treasure. The process of learning should be under control. So, this it was interview with Mazut Farhad by Olga Sarokina inspiring interview with your friends. Thank you. See you soon.